<sighs> Hi guys, it's Cece, back with another video. <sighs> I have something really hard for me to say. So, I've not been uploading for a while. Well, not that long, but long enough that a lot of people are probably wondering, Where's Cece? Where's X Bubba Milkshake Girl X? And the reason I've not been posting is because my mental health lately has been shit. And the reason, because of that, is because me and Oscar slash Olivia, we we broke up. I know a lot of you are thinking, but Cece, you loved them. And I really did. But I'm 14 and I'm all growing up. And I was starting to feel some sexual emotion. And I needed sex. Sorry, I just had to take a little drink there. Um, and I needed sex. So, so, sorry, this is just hard for me to say. I started masturbating. <laughs> I've realised my emotions lately, really want to watch sex movies. And I'm getting to that age where I needed it. And I was getting to a point where I couldn't respect Oscar and their pronouns and how they were a female and not a male and it <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys I just need to sneeze there um but I wasn't respecting who they were and like I said Oscar's a girl and they don't have a <coughs> yet and I really wanted to have boyfriend and that sounds so disrespectful because oscar trans life matter you matter and you do identify as a boy <clears throat> even if you were born a girl but i really i was in a time in my life where i've really wanted to have sex and well i cheated on you and i'm sorry for what I done and it was a horrible, disrespectful thing to do. And your life matters, but I just disrespected that. So the story is that I basically met up with this other guy and he was new, he was new at school and we started chatting because he was in my English class and I really liked him, you know? And then one day he invited me home to his bed. His mum and dad weren't in. Neither was his sister. Just his dog, which is a really cute dog. Um, and we had sex. Don't ever give in to sexual frustration. You will regret it. Anyway. And Oscar was wondering where I was. Because we were meant to meet up. And on the same day, so they looked at my location and they came to his house and he said he knocked on the door and there was no answer apart from the dog barking. So the other guy that I had sex with, he, <laughs> pardon me, he got up and he opened the door and saw Oscar and I ran out thinking, Oh, I wonder who this could be, and it was Oscar, and that was at the moment I knew I fucked up. I apologised so much, but Oscar started crying and ran away, and I chased after them. And I kept apologising, and they decided to give me another chance, because they knew that I needed <coughs> dick. And I even said that to him, I was like, Oscar, I really need a penis. Oscar was really offended at this because they were born a girl, but they really, really wanted to be a boy. <clears throat> and, yeah, but they still gave me another chance because Oscar 
if you're watching this, you've got the sweetest and kindest heart. Unlike your fucked up brother Teddy. That guy can suck my sandpaper cock. But I screwed up again. And I kept texting that guy and Oscar from Dill and he slash she knew that this relationship we had was never going to work out. So, yeah. And they dumped me and I totally understand that. I totally understand that. And the other guy I was texting, even though I was feeling all these sexual feelings, I never knew it. I never thought it was right. So, <clears throat> I, I never, I wasn't dating them, but I decided to dump them. And he moved school a few days after. So, yeah, I think he moved con- country to, like, Malaysia or something, or Pakistan. So, yeah. Um, I'm so sorry, Oscar, if you're watching this. I love you and I want you back, but I know this relationship just didn't work out. And I apologise and pray to God every day. I love you, Oscar. I'm sorry. Also, I'm not ashamed to say this. I've been masturbating a lot. And people that do this need help. So please help the people that masturbate. (laughs)